Hey guys, it's Jay, and today we are going to be doing a unrebooted on camera. If you are unfamiliar with the term unrebooted and me, um, basically I will take an original doll from the Monster High collection and I will basically grab a reboot doll that I actually liked, but I hated the face of course, and completely give it a reroute to make it look just like the reboot doll, but with an original face. Did post um, my Abby one. I'll link the video of me just overviewing her. It wasn't a step-by-step -step process because I had already made her and I was just waiting for her outfit to come. But today I actually have my doll. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna be unrebooting Shriekwreck Draculaura. But of course, before we get started, make sure you are subscribed and you have hit the bell notification. Also like this video if you enjoy the unrebooted process and if you like this um, first time ever rerooting on camera kind of video. With all that out of the way, let me show you the doll I'm going to be rerooting basically. So this is Boo York Boo York Draculaura and I basically just bought her nude so she has no clothing. As you guys can see, she has meh hair. But I'm using this one because I thought her face looked really similar to the prototype. I'm going to put the prototype on the screen right here so you guys can kind of see. Basically, I'm trying to match the faces as best as I can without repainting. Let me show you exactly what you're going to need if you guys want to follow along. So from promo pictures, you guys know that Jackular has like really big curly hair. So I decided to use nylon, which I really don't use for reroutes just because like I prefer saran usually. But I was on the Doll Planet, which is an Etsy shop. I'll link it below with all the colors I used today. And they actually sold some curly nylon. So it looks like this, it comes in a little bag. And as you can see, it's like little individual like ringlet curl. This is Birthday Ball Cedar. I rerouted her. I used curly nylon from a different provider and her hair still smells iconic. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, and every time I brush through it, it's just gonna be more curly. So basically I bought two packs of this black um, curly nylon hair, pink curly nylon hair and that's just gonna go into her part as you can see right here the pink is only very like sporadic in her part so yeah these are the colors I'm gonna be using I'm hoping it's gonna be enough mainly with the black because obviously I have a lot of pink but this is what I need just for her head alone so we'll see if it is but as much as I really want to use the original monster high body that she came with this Dracula actually had molded on gloves and of course the reboot body isn't ever after high body the peg does not fit into an original monster high body so I'm going to have to use the reboot body for this unrebooted which I usually don't do so the materials you're going to need for this reroute are flat head so you can scrape all the glue out of her head scissors so you can cut all the hair off you'll need tweezers don't mind mine they're really dirty and you'll also need a reroot tool I use an exacto knife as the base and then I cut a needle at an angle as you guys can see right there and this works just fine as a reroute tool you could of course buy them I'll link all those down below for you and of course to seal in the hair I use fabric tack glue and of course you're going to need the hair that I mentioned before and of course you're going to need your doll that you're going to be using the head for I need the outfit of Sri Greg Ejaculora Okay guys, so we're gonna start the reroute process, but first we got to prep our Draculaura doll. Of course, the first step is we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna just start cutting all of her hair off. A queen. <laughs> Okay guys, so she is completely buzzed. So now all we have to do is get some hot water to remove her head safely and then we can get all the glue out from inside. Once it's been 30 seconds, we can take her out and we could just simply try to squish off her head. So once you've removed her head from her body, it is now time to get out your flat head and we're going to go in here and we're basically just going to scrape at all the existing hair that she has in her head until she is completely hairless. all the hair from the head it is time to extract it with our tweezers so 
Draculaura is now scalp. I did pierce her ears because the doll is going to be wearing earrings and Boo York, Boo York Draculaura did not have those originally. So now it's time to move on to the hair. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using hair from the Doll Planet and this is their curly black 5mm. And this is already a curled hair, so... So as you guys can see, it's like really, really curly hair. It is going to spring up, of course. So I want to cut it in half. So when I do comb it out, it is not going to be too long because the original doll does not have long hair. Yeah, that looks a little funny right there, but it's going to look cuter, trust me. Let me show you how to reroot, especially with the curly hair. You're going to grab it and you're going to try to find it where it meets in the middle. So the links are even steven. Grab your tool and you're gonna hook it under the end. Once you have it on the hook you're just going to find yourself a hole and you're just going to pretty much just plug it on in. And you're pretty much just going to do this all around the hairline first and then fill it in and then you move to the part last. That's at least what I do. So I'm going to show you a few times of rerouting and then we'll just do a time lapse I guess. Okay so we're gonna wrap our finger around like this a reroute tool and go right under and pull like so then we're just gonna plug it in Okay, and her hair is completely rooted now. I did the part off camera because it was kind of hard. In my next reroute, I will show you guys, I promise. But this is her hair, and we're just going to seal it with our fabric tack glue. And we're just going to let her set overnight so that the glue has enough time to get to the scalp and that no hair is pulled out. See you in the morning. 
Okay, everybody, so her head is completely dried and she's giving me very Isabella with frizzy hair vibes. Usually when I glue the doll's hair in, after a while I start tugging in certain areas just to make sure that the glue is actually secure in the head. It is time to rejoin the head to the body. So if you're ever doing a curly reroute, this is what it's going to look like right after. It is going to be super duper voluminous. But of course, we're not going for a longer look. We're actually going for the look that she has right now around up to her shoulders. Okay, so now we're going to start taming the hair. What you're going to need is a water bottle or a spray bottle that has like water in it. You just spray the hair down. I don't have one of those, of course. So I'm just going to run her head under water real quickly. You are also going to need a few different types of brushes and combs just to style your doll's hair. I got a normal rat tooth and I got this kind of um, almost like a wire brush for curly hair. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. We're going to see how it works. You're also going to need to bring back the scissors just in case. Oop. <laughs> I just cut the hair. No. Okay, we're going to keep them closed now, but you just need some scissors. Um, I'm not going to be using these ones because as you can see, they're all busted. And you're going to need some kind of curling cream. This is Catwalk TGIF Curls Rock Amplifier. I learned this trick from Denisa Medrano. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link it below. Um, this is really great for curly doll hair, especially like this. Okay, so I went ahead and I dampened her hair. I'm gonna put some of this hair just so that the brush glides through it better. About this much. Now we're gonna get this little brush and we're just gonna start combing. And you're gonna notice that you might lose some hair. It's just because it is curly hair. And I'm gonna try to do this bit as much as I can on camera and then eventually move off camera. Okay guys, so I lost footage of me brushing her hair and cutting, but basically I just detangled the hair with this little um, brush here. And then after I felt like it was getting smoother, I would comb it out with the rat tooth just so it smoothed out and cut it. So now we have something like this. Now we're left with styling her hair. It is really nice right now at the moment too. Like it looks like her promo pictures and it does brush. What you need to do is comb through it and style it as I please. And I'll actually have to cut just a little bit left. As you can see, there's like some kind of long bits in the back. But other than that, she will be done. And I think I'm done with the styling. Um, it's supposed to look um, a little, you know, messy. And here is Draculaura all done. So as you can see, her hair is a lot shorter than it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be up to her shoulders as I mentioned in the video, but you know, it sprung up on its own. But I still think it looks just like the prototype picture that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video and I'm actually happy with how it turned out. And that concludes my unrebooted and first reroute on camera. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know that you like these kind of videos as well. And also if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit the bell notification so you know every time I post a new video. Let me know what you think of her new hair. Or follow me on Instagram or on TikTok. My username is ZombieXCorn, just like my YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.